Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to install PDM GCC compiler on Windows. So GCC stands for GNU Compiler Collection (CC) and it is a compiler system providing various providing support for various programming languages. So TDM GCC is a compiler, a compiler suite for Microsoft Windows. The TDM stands for Twilight Dragon Media, as the project's name. So these are the steps that you have to follow in order to download and install the compiler on the system. So one by one, all these steps are already provided in the description. Room. Now we are going to follow the steps one by one. So first of all, we can simply search for download GCC PDM. So look for this compiler, and we have this kit link, uh, link provided where you can see the download link. And in this case, you can choose your operating system. So if you're using 64-bit OS, then you can go for the second one. So click on this, uh, click on this file, and then your downloading will start. So I have already downloaded this uh, compiler, so I am going to cancel the download. So once you have downloaded, so you can see the file over here. I have, downloaded, I have downloaded this file on desktop. So in order to install it, you have to double, double click on this file. So once you double click on this file, you will come across this setup where you have to create. You have to click on create and then it will ask for the uh, operating system. Again, you can pick the second one if it is a 64 bit system. So you can click on next and it will ask for the installation directory as well. Where do you want to install the software? So I'm saying inside C drive. By default, it will create a folder for you inside the C drive. So I'm not going to change my location. If you want to change the location, you can just click on Browse, and you can just give the another drive. So I'm okay with it, and you can click on Next. And all these options are default settings, so I'm not going to change it. So click on Install. So while your setup is installing, we can just create a small C program, and let's try to execute that program using the compiler. Okay. So this compiler where it is going to be stored inside C drive, there will be a folder called uh, T, uh, TDM GCC. Inside the folder, you will see all these files which are getting installed. So let's create a small C program and try to compile it. So you can open any editor of your choice. So I'm using Notepad++ in order to create a very small program. And meanwhile, it is installing. We can just write a small program in C, and then we can see how we can install it, how you can uh, execute it. So, in order to create a C program, you have to you start with hash include. So, don't worry about the uh, syntax. If you are new to any programming language, you can just ignore the syntax, and you can quickly see how uh, you can execute a program using a compiler. So, first of all, I would like to save this file. Where do you want to save this file? I would like to save this file inside C drive only. So in C drive, I have already created a folder named programs, and this folder is empty. So inside this folder, I would like to create this file. So let's say this is program.c. Another file is there which uh, is already there. So let's forget about this and we can create a new file with the name program.c. And I would like to save this program. Now this program is saved in my C drive inside programs folder. All right, now I can complete it. And I'm writing a very basic program of printing something on the screen. So you can say hi, that's it. And you can try semicolon and return zero. So once you have typed this entire code in the editor, you can now save this program, which I've already saved in C drive inside programs folder. Now we are all set with the writing part. Let's see how we can execute the program now. First, we have to see whether your compiler is installed or not. Now where compiler is installed, you can sort of click on next and then finish. And you can just read out this documentation also if you want to know more about this compiler. Else, trust it. So now it is done. If you want, uh, if you want to see that the files are installed, then you can check on my PC go to C drive. Then you can see TDM GCC 64. 
this is my folder and all these for all these files are related to this compiler this is just now we have installed now you can see in my programs folder i have created my files so currently i'll be referring to the program.c file now let's see and execute this program so in order to execute the program we are going to use command prompt so this compiler gives you a min jw command prompt Okay, it comes to this command prompt, and you can directly open it. Let's change this font font size. Okay, now the font size is changed, and now you are expected to execute this file. Okay, and this is your compiler, which is loading C drive. So, if you want to check the version of this compiler quickly, you can type gcc is the command name, and check the version by giving this command. So, it is 9.2.4. All right. Now what I have to do, I have to compile this program. So where this program is present, this program is present in C drive inside programs folder. So first you have to change this drive. So from C drive, I'll have to change the directory to where the directory name is programs. So you can go to programs directory and inside this directory, there is this file program.c. And the command to compile and execute the program is gcc, name of the source file, that is program.c hyphen o to create the object file and the name could be anything i'm just writing out uh, program this could be anything so when you hit enter and if there is no error in the program it will be executed it will be compiled and you will see uh, uh, the object file over here all right and if you want to now run the program now this is your exec executable file i want to run it so in order to run the file you simply write program that is the name of this output file which is generated over here and then you click enter you can see hi is printed over here because in the original source file you wanted to print hi onto the screen so that is how you can simply make use of this compiler in order to compile and execute the program so that's it for today thank you